Well, I'm just going to do a try and be as quick as I can, but if just a uh, one on the Fibonacci's and the phi ratio. Now I'm doing this because they I've just was looking at a few sites and they're all Fibonacci, Fibonacci, uh, and the connection to phi. Well, phi and the Fibonacci uh, do have this lovely connection, but it is not exclusive to the Fibonacci numbers. And so, if we begin with one and one, that's the first of this series to do the Fibonacci. So it's all you need to do is type in one and one. Go to the column, the box below equals and then you click that plus the number above equals okay now I back to that box in the there's a little black box in the corner you just drag that down okay there we have all of our Fibonacci numbers now it does have that well it a great approximate it gets closer and closer to the phi ratio of a golden number and by that I'm okay I'm going to hit equals and then I'm going to divide that number divided by the one above. Click on the one above. Okay, so one divided by one, no surprise. Now we just drag that little black box down. And what you get is very soon, close, it's going to get closer and closer. The further you extend it, it's going to get closer and closer to the golden number. I'm going to extend that down. Or 1.618033988. Um, but yeah, closer and closer it will get. So, okay, that's well known now. Now you can do the same in two dimensions. So these, this is a one-dimensional ratio. So when you draw a Fibonacci spiral, essentially creating a series of overlapping rectangles. Now with a rectangle, you have the edge length, but we can also get the area, and we do the area by, okay, so on this box equals and now we're just going to multiply the number by the one above it. So one times the one above it. Of course we get one. Go into your corner, drag it down. Okay, so there we get the areas of each of those rectangles in the Fibonacci sequence. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is, just like we divided the smaller one by the one above to get to phi in the first dimension or very cl closer and closer to it what if we divide the area by the lesser area 2.618033988 etc it's going to carry on it's going to get closer and closer to phi plus one which equals phi squared one dimensional phi squared is two dimensional or phi plus one that's one of the lovely things so this isn't a Fibonacci well known, but there's another, like again I saw it and then I tested it and then I said, well, well, you know, it's not, it's not as, it's not special to the, to the Fibonacci numbers. And so, um, so we had the areas and now, okay, we saw the phi squared ratio. Okay. But now what I'm going to do is with this highlighted column, the areas. Okay. So now we, multiplied but okay let's look at the difference between the areas and so by that it's what we're going to do is take a, the larger number minus the smaller number the one directly above and then what do we get one four nine twenty five one sixty nine four four one well what's happening there well let's go back to the original Fibonacci numbers two 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, 5 squared is 25, 8 squared is 64, 13 squared is 169, and on it goes. So this, the difference between the, the, the areas is the square of the original Fibonacci that you started off. But this is not special to the Fibonacci numbers, and by that I mean if we do it, create a seek we, we invent our own so we're going to start just like with a fibonacci numbers just with a one you could do with any number it doesn't matter and now we're just going to do a i'll just make it smaller so we don't get too big too quick so we've just invented a sequence okay and so we're going to do exactly the same to create extend this sequence down so we get the number we add it to the smaller 654 
plus 1 is 655. We extend that down and we've just created a sequence. Now, if we follow those exact same rules, okay, equals 654 divided by the one above. No surprise, but if we extend that down, closer and closer you get to the golden number. So it's not the Fibonacci that's special. It's any sequence that grows in this pattern will give you the, the exact same fire ratio. Now I could do the same with uh, areas. And so one more column. Okay. And so this time equals, I'm going to multiply the neighboring numbers, 654 times 1. No surprise. Extend it down. We don't want that notation. Okay, just get rid of that notation, format cells, number, general. Let's create format cells, number. Uh, we do want that. So, Okay, so now we just have those numbers with two decimal places. But if we go over, we're going to do the same thing. With, so we found the area divide the larger by its neighboring smaller one 2.61803 again the the golden number now if we go to a column okay so those were the areas in column uh, n and so we're going to do the same thing, now we take the area minus the smaller neighbour ok so let's copy copy that number Edit, paste, square root, 654. Right, that's the number we started off with. So we take... Well, the same thing happens again. So it's not the phi ratio that's... In, uh, sorry, it's not the Fibonacci's that are important. These same patterns occur through any series of numbers that grows where you get the gold, closer and closer to the golden number, closer and closer to the golden number plus one or... or golden number squared and then those numbers themselves so let's copy that one paste what's the square root of that 655 oh, 650, <laughs> well, yeah. 655 655 no surprises for this one because it will be the square root of 1309 1309 sorry squared is that one so 1964 squared is this number 13 sorry sorry 3273 this number so it's not the Fibonacci's that are special it's the patterns that are underlying it this golden and these squares and yeah that so careful with what you're you know there is a little bit of a religiosity about the the Fibonacci numbers but any series that grows on that same way has these, like, the, I still think, you know, this, this is still lovely, this is still lovely stuff, but there, again, there is a religiosity surrounding the Fibonacci numbers. Uh, they are not special, uh, any series that grows in that way. What's special is the outcome, not the Fibonacci numbers themselves, because you could do the same with the Lucas numbers, which is 1, 3, 4, 7, 11, 18, etc. Any number series that grows on the same way is regulated the phi ratio and the phi squared ratio phi squared is phi plus one but that's two dimensionals and so the area grows by a phi squared ratio squared two dimensional but this square these squares between so 
back to your original Fibonacci numbers, the difference between the areas, 1, 4, 9, 4 is 2 squared, 9 is 3 squared, 25 is 5 squared, Fibonacci numbers, squares, these ratios of growth um, applies to any number series which grows in the same way, so it's the phi and the squares, and the difference between the squares being the square of the original number series, that applies across all the number series uh, that grow in this way. So it's not Fibonacci that are special or magic. They're just a good expression of it. But yeah, by no, there's, yeah. Be, be, be cautious of these things.